All right, we're pretty much ready for pour with about an hour and a half to spare. So I'm sure we missed something since we still have time left. Skimmers are in, rebar, foam. Man, I see a shark. We about got your tank ready. I'm ready to swim. See what I did there? <laughs> Q's get, been helping. The guys are getting it done with uh, Casey's crew. Let's see what Aaron's up to. If you're doing this with a vinyl liner, it's super, super simple. You know, you can knock out a vinyl liner pool in a week. Doing it this way, you know, which is for some reason what I wanted. I guess, I, I, could I got a vinyl liner this big? Yeah. Huh. I think that's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, so we did it this way. So there'll be lots of stuff that has to be done, which is standard for when you're doing concrete pools. You have to do it regardless. But, uh, oh. Yeah, so we're ready for, uh, about ready for concrete to come pouring in. Marshall's building something down there. What you building down there, Marshall? Instead of taking that corner all the way down, yeah. I'm just strapping it with this. Gotcha. To help hold it. All right. You ready to start yours? Uh, well, <laughs> mentally I'm ready. Sight's not ready yet. You're not gonna do like me, and I'm gonna do exactly like you. I'm doing all this torture to myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna at least build your house first. Yes. Unlike me. Yes. No. Okay. Oh, don't take all the fun out of it. <laughs> oh, so do all, all three of these drains get tied together into one? I can explain this one. Don't oh. worry, Marshall. You keep doing yeah. what you're doing. Oh, you were paying attention <laughs> while I was over there doing something else. So this is capping these drains off so they don't get any concrete in them. Oh, smart, smart. It's about as fast as tape. Probably a little bit easier to take off. I, I can't be that easy. <laughs> hey, that's good. <laughs> See? There you go, y'all. Instead of taping it up, we just... learner. Just uh, put up what we got. Yeah. Yes, sir. You're good with that thing, man. Which thing? The excavator over there. No. Huh? No. <laughs> I don't. I don't uh, operate that. That's uh, Chris's. He came over this morning, dumped us some gravel in here. Oh, no, he said. It, it, I, I thought uh, Aaron said you bought it. It's yours. No. I'm well. Depending on who you talk to, maybe I paid for it. <laughs> 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 Probably not. Okay, I yeah. thought you were running that thing. Nah. I mean, I can get in there and move it around. Yeah. Swing it, you know. Yeah. Make a mess. Make a mess. Yeah, I'm good at that. <laughs> Sir? I can run it. Oh, you can run it? Yeah. Oh, we got a backup operator. Yeah, I can run it. No, those are... Ah, well, uh, I think it's uh, rest time. No. All right, I think so, we're ready. I think we're ready. I think we're going to be all right. It's kind of nice having a bunch of people here. Things tend to get done a little quicker. Yeah. I always get Casey into something. He's ready. He He's never come and said no yet. He asked why we didn't use cinder blocks. But other than that, yeah. I think I got him converted. Well, he'll convert once he stacks a couple and he's like, oh. Yeah, when he realizes is... they don't weigh 80 pounds a piece. Is that your bus back there? Yeah. Why? Cause. Just because? I used to have a short bus. I, I'd haul the Amish in. Yeah, it's a, a mobile storage building. Okay.
All right, leading the pump in. Woohoo! That's right. Time to get something done finally. What? It's the day y'all all been waiting for. Concrete day. We'll see if uh, Quince's vehicle gets run over today. Chances are high. Got the memo. All right, CMP's back. We got the original OD operator back out here. That's right. He brought the big boy with him. So we ain't gonna be stressed today about reaching nothing. So I get some stuff set up. I got the uh, this big old. Everybody, why don't you vibrate your concrete? We are. There it is. So, <laughs> lug this heavy thing around. Right, Quincy? Absolutely, man. We uh, we always go the, the path of most resistance. Exactly. That is, that's how we do it. You know what? Path of that's what we're going to put on a shirt. I'm going to say, <laughs> see, yesterday I did a short. They said I need to have a shirt that said, I'm Jeff. There we so, go. I'll do a shirt that says, I'm Jeff. I follow, I follow the, path. the path the most resistant. Man, we have come up with a shirt. I'm getting them made. If you oh, want man. one, hit me up in the comments. There you go. <laughs> That's 100% happening. That's not even a question. All right. Man, I'm excited right now. I might not be excited later when I get the invoices. But for now, I'm going to be excited. Oh, look at that. Got some stair action. Got our lines ready to adjust once we have uh, mud in the walls. Because you see that was bowed a little in the middle, but once the wall has weight in it, we'll have to adjust anyway. So I feel like this isn't in the way because we're all supposed to be on the scaffolding. All right, so we've got 25 minutes before the first concrete trucks roll in. And we've got a space 30 minutes apart. We're doing 1% accelerator in the first two, and I uh, ended up going with Zypex for everything. Which if you don't know what that is, it fills all the voids in concrete up. They use them in water treatment tanks, stuff like that. It's supposed to be waterproof. And we're gonna do Zypex in the walls up here too, and we're still gonna waterproof it, so. Shouldn't ever have any problems. Uh, that's all I got, man. We got 25 minutes to wait. Here. Woo, 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 woo. All right, so we're gonna lead them back to the back, but I think he actually, most of these guys have been out here enough now that I think they all, I think all their drivers pretty much probably know yeah. how to get here. They're probably expecting lunch when they come out now. Probably been out so many times. Yeah, we might need to. We should have had a pizza party after concrete pour. Yeah, yeah, right. Maybe I'll order some after. Yeah, concrete. everybody's gonna be sluggish to do it beforehand. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, we're gonna get this thing started and. I'll be doing some interviewing with uh, Aaron as we go, and uh, hopefully the uh, battery helps out. All right, truck number one. Where's it going? We'll see. Ask huh? me again at the end. I wanted it about a four for the for the first few loads, real dry, because we're stacking up in a wall that can run out into the floor. Just hold it. And look. As much as he's rattling, he probably is drier than a four. Oh, there no, five no, gallons, five. five gallons. That's all, it's not bad the way it is. 
the first chunk came out way drier than what was out next. It just freshened it up a little with that five. It's not gonna really do much. Right. I'll get. I'm gonna go get on the scaffold. Okay. So uh, I'm probably gonna start. Well, we can't see it from here anyway. There we go, just like that. Four has started. Yeah. No, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a lap and then I'll hand it to you guys and make a quick go about a foot in with this fresh mud that doesn't have NCA in it. My name is NGA. He said howdy. I said hi. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no telling. Oh, that's the CMP guy, the pump truck um, sales guy. Hey, Mark, if you want me to follow you and I hold the. Huh? Quincy? Okay. Hey, you ain't got to tell me twice. <laughs> All right. There. Oh, there's a vibrator down there. Won't do this. I won't go no farther. Ow. Oh, maybe I will. Man! You about to bury my... Man, what'd you do? You let the vibrator down there? I, I didn't leave that. I don't want to do Ah! I get it up, though. Oh, we good. Look. Man, look at that. Look, it looks like it's been doing some work. Yeah. There you go. Ah. This was a little runnier. I'm going to try to kind of get some in there before it. This was a lot runnier. Okay. i got to watch this like real close. Whoa, I'm I'm sorry, dude. What? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got to I got to move. I got to move. We having a blowout. Sorry. You all right? Hey, if you have to whoop his ass, it's all right. I got on camera. Drop down in there for a second. That's it. You give it too much, it's a liquid line. Liquid line. If you go too long, you got a mess. You're going to hit it. Okay, I'm Jeffrey, so we good. I'm Jeffrey with the G, though. Okay. Well, I sold these already. You're down the street. Hey, I got, I got one left. What? Huh? Okay. He's saying you're staying pretty clean, so he must be operating pretty good. He's operating pretty good, pretty good. 
One person's not clean, I gotta go talk to that guy. Yeah. He was in the wrong spot, but I mean, I... Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, you gotta be aware where you're at. I know, but I, I, was, yeah. I had to move and I couldn't go the other way. Right. But I... Hey. Oh shit, OSHA. <laughs> I'll probably top this wall if it will too. Just on just on the stair cart part. I mean, definitely on. A, I'm already almost to the top over here. I'm only about a foot and a half from the top behind me. It was everything. Oh, oh yeah, but I just yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to start getting some of the volume filled in. It's got to fill in sooner or later. I'm getting creative. <laughs> I'm gonna get you something to slick down just a sec. Feely good. B E A L Y. Oh, yeah, yeah. Song Quincy shirt. Yeah. Scaffold. All right, now I'm in business. Those are, those are not supposed to be there. It's all It's all you do. Just face them out a little bit more. Whatever. You may remember Santiago from uh, getting pulled over by the police who said, Hey, this guy, he should not be driving this truck. He looks like he's from Utah. Utah. Oh, damn. See? This is how misinformation starts. Some guy grabbed the camera. That's what happened. Man, y'all are doing amazing. Woo! I fall off the wall. That looks great. Oh, we are not far up this long. Hey guys, guys, watch out. Watch out! I just, oh, just head, heads up. Top the wall from right here. Look. Woo! But no, I'm not going any farther because I don't trust that corner. I didn't look at it real good. I'm scared of it. What? What? Right here. No. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Hold up. Yeah, I, okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Right. He's out? Okay, go that way. You're fine. Let's go over here. Just a little bit, thank you. You're just in time. I ordered pizza, but I didn't even have to pay for it. You know why? Because my guys, CMP, 
They pay for pizza, unlike Volvo. I know. <laughs> I, he just came in in time to help us drive home, so he's coming to Missouri to dig out a lake house for me. All rock, just sitting there on a breaker all day. Dot, 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 dot. It's all yeah. You, yeah, he's got concrete breaking experience. Oh, I, I heard. I heard he's got some breaking experience. Isn't that a good idea? Like that was great. It did. <laughs> you should just go into building stuff. Yes. The, the consulting gig is the yep, right, it, it's but the, viewers don't want to watch consulting I know I'm getting more content here but my next trip I just go into New York and I tell them stuff yeah nobody wants to hear you yeah I, I know but it's gonna be good I'll, I'll go home I won't be sweaty true that and you won't be broke <laughs> right <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, that's the guy. He's cleaning out, right? We don't have the other. No, one yeah, here. the next truck's not here. That they stacked him up on us, so we we got a little breather, which is good. Oh, yeah, you can take. All good, all good. You good, Marsh? But let me see, son. We're still. I'm still not ready to do that side till I get back around, I'm right? Ready. No, you're fine. No, no. What are you looking for? Oh, that's great. Great. It's handy. Well, I heard it will pop. Yep, it will. Yeah, I heard it. Hmm. Go ahead and top that wall, too, while you're at it. Otherwise, it's going to bulge it. Not, not there. Come on around. There you go, right there. I need to get four to two to get them from the rear. Huh? Yeah. This is truck number five. Yeah, yeah. You got your way high right here. There'll be another one. Watch your foot. Oh, yeah. But I got to call them and tell them how much I want them. I think it's going to take a whole other truck. Probably so. Yeah, if I get if I fill up your pockets with concrete, it's on you this time. You want to fill that side of that stair? Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna try it since we're at the top. See what happens. See what happens. Oh. I've I've fucked the step up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, we got it. Yeah.
Still coming out? We're going to need at least one more truck, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We still got... We got three feet here still to go. I'm gonna Not go from here around. to the other side of that skimmer quick. We got the same issue on this corner. So I'm gonna zip, but I mean, I'll start right here. See it bulging down there? You can't, the screws are hitting a web that's not attached to nothing because of the corner being as big as it is. So they're having to put kickers in everywhere. So I'm gonna get over there and top this wall. And then I may let them work on the floor for a little bit while we fix this up real quick. So go ahead. How do I look? there we'll cut it off and I'll move it's just get from here to where I could build it up like yep. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like about 10 dump trucks. That can serve me when I get to the He's 
just keep making more work for you, don't you, Casey? We just keep making more work for you. get the walls done so I can see if the uh, floor is really going to get done with what we got. Kilba, hey, you take it? We're, we're done. The wall's done. Can you take it down there? We're topped. Oh, you got that too? All right, is, there, is my other 60 volt still in the truck? Uh, I do not know. I'll check the charger if not, but. What did I do? Do you need a battery for that? Two hammers. They were thrown to you. Yeah, hey, you can see if my here. other 60 volts so in the charger. Either he missed through or, or you stole figured, my He just hammer. figured that it was probably best if I try to grab it. And I ninja coordination. And see, I ninja. See, that's you, that's me. Yeah. beating on me all day <laughs> all right damn that's a snap-on yeah yeah they're both snap-on my daily wage right there i'll just give you one I'd of the hammers hammer. take a hammer home, there we go finally right huh this is the only one we got ordered right now my my estimator disappeared Check it out. Yeah. Now, uh, the guy that dug it's him. Hey, this is our new UFC uh, fighting ring right here. Everybody thought it was a pool. <laughs> Two men enter, one man leave. <laughs> It's not spinning at all. Oh, is it? Now it's spinning. It just started. Hey, yeah, right. all right, we're almost done. We had to get, uh, you know, it was a uh, thought 50 plus, but ended up 60 plus. We had to get four yards, so we're waiting on that. So a little background, uh, all three pools is the company that he started up. So to begin with, it was ICF Guru, which is what most everybody calls them, and you'll hear me say that too. So I went out to Springfield, they do a training. They do a lot of vinyl liner kits. So this is considered expert mode probably it's like really i don't want to say complicated but it's definitely the higher end 
because you're gonna strip this off. We got concrete pool, finish it out, all that stuff. If you do vinyl liner, then it's the forms just like the house where it's foam on both sides. You set them all and then the liner gets ordered and it goes in. And I mean, you'll see, we're gonna put one together for Quincy. We'll put a vinyl liner pool together in a week and he'll be done versus you know all this extra work. So it just depends on what you want. Uh, he does a training. That's where I first met him at his place in Springfield. And uh, I went out there and they go through everything and they're teaching you kind of the ins and outs of how to do pool kits, right? Or how to put ICF your own pool. In general, ICF. pools are kind of what we got known for. Yeah. We've done some pretty wild stuff. Right. And so now they've added more stuff on because don't you have reps coming now? Yeah. So training this time is really wild because it's gotten bigger every time as far as what we've included. Um, so we actually added an auto cover to the training last time. This time the auto cover rep is actually coming to do his own demo. Uh, Base Creek sending a guy, Eco sending a guy, uh, Pintera sending a guy, but they've been doing that. Right. They've, been, they've been great partners with us on this. Um, the Rinalit, the PVC membranes, which are kind of an emerging thing in the US. It's been a really hot commodity in the Middle East and in uh, Europe, but it's kind of a new, it's a commercial liner. It's like an 80 mil hand okay. welded, Ooh. you know, it's like uh, they do it in a lot of school, uh, university pools and stuff where it's quarter mil to right plaster them and you know you can do that for half you know yeah. it and it's a good product so yeah it's uh this one went good dude you we this yeah. was the hard part the next yeah. pool is of course bill has to do a pool stacked on top of a pool for his very first pool yeah i mean why would i want to start out easy right but this was the hard one by far 10 foot <laughs> high new dura one is a pucker factor probably yeah. an eight on the pucker scale yeah if and i didn't have marshall it might have been a nine yeah so yeah we're lucky marshall came along and I said, Quincy's going to the training in May. Uh, I'm gonna try and make it too, just to, if nothing else, to shoot content and help do some man. do some training videos. So that's one of the things too, when you get a kit from all three pools, they're gonna have QR codes on it. You get your instructions as you need them. You get a lot of feedback. I'm gonna show you, uh, if I haven't already, I'm gonna show, like we got a whole plumbing plan, lighting plan. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to it, so. Yeah, we even print the QR codes right on the right. pipe now. It's, like, it's got Eric and Pat, when they came on board a few months ago and we kind of revamped the whole thing, they are big business type minds and they immediately just streamlined everything. It's so yeah, made, made a lot easier. So yeah. you got a mix of people at training because when I went to, you got some guys that are going to, they're either have a pool company already or they're starting one and they want to do their own pool kits for people or pool installs for people. And then you got guys like me that just DIYers want to do DIY. To do their own. Right. You're going to so, save 30 or 40 grand getting the trainings kind of insurance to make sure you don't make that big right, mistake. You know, right. we'll make sure you don't make the big mistake every time. So yeah. And so it's just the access the, to the information, everything. And I mean, we're just pushing ICF in general. And that's yeah. what's great about what you're doing with this project because it's, uh, it's the best building material you can get, but yet it's still kind of a Especially once thing. you get in yep. the south, it's more of a niche thing. People yep. people don't know as much about it yet like they do in Canada and uh, misery. Wherever yeah, wherever there's you know, uh, like if I built a house stick built house, we do get tornadoes here, not as much as y'all do. No, we get them more than you. But yeah, but if you know tornado came through, house be gone. So I don't care how fast you build your house if your house is now two picks. Exactly. So tornado comes through, I just kinda Crack a drink, yeah, sit you back, go back and, in your theater and watch a movie. Yeah, watch a movie and you know come out when it's over. Watch so, Twister. So you, watch. You don't even so know I can get the full effect. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of things to it. We'll be getting in, into that more uh, a lot, and we're going to talk some more as we wrap things up. But I just wanted to take a minute to kind of yeah, go you do through the that. Eco, stuff. We'll get in here. And we're oh trying yeah. Trying to talk him into a YouTube video where we all joust on top of his uh, Infinity Edge. Yeah. I so think it's a great idea, guys. I'm challenging Quincy. Challenge right now. And we got Chris, and we got and Chris. We got Sheed, and uh, we yeah, got uh, Baby Shark. I'm, yeah, Baby Shark. You see, I will. It'll yeah. be great content watching a <laughs> six foot ten dude just yeah. beat on me with a stick. <laughs> nah. You're like running towards me, just knocked you off. I'm just like, no. freedom. He's like, bonk. That's it. All right. Well, we'll be back in a few minutes. More yards have arrived. Casey told us it was going to take four more. Yeah, three point seven seven is the estimate. So I got four just to be sure. Oh. 
Santiago said he was supposed to be off like an hour ago. <laughs> Man, if you face planted in the concrete right now, oh that would just be the perfect end to the day, wouldn't it? <laughs> if you just face planted right in that shit. Man, don't on, no, don't put that on me, Sealy. Yeah, go ahead, man. Go ahead. <laughs> right on, man. Go ahead, wait. Don't worry. When you come out, I'll be gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man, look at that. Professional. The corn's already dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the well, with the stuff we put in the the additive on the first two oh. rounds, we could put four, we could pull forms off tomorrow morning. I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> One thing, I'm be too tired. Well, the second thing is, uh, <laughs> want to help get back from the vacation. Yeah. Hey, you're right. Well, it's all done. That was a little bit of a long one. I uh, This is actually Thursday when I'm filming this right here. So the pour was Monday, and then Tuesday was recovery day because we were all wiped. And uh, I came out, of course, and checked on some things. And the weather, we started getting a lot of rain. And... You know, I came out, checked on the pump stuff, make sure everything was running good, all that kind of stuff. And then yesterday, the storms that were hitting the Midwest, they rolled through here. So we were under tornado warnings most of the day and extreme thunderstorm warnings and all that kind of stuff, which is one thing I don't talk a whole lot about. Yep, but that's another reason I'm building out of all ICF is, you know, storms and everything. So, um, yeah. So there you go. I haven't taken any of the forms off yet or, you know, where the steps are or anything yet. So, so I have to do all that. We did come out and clean up. You know, this was just a disaster. Still quite a bit of stuff left, but everything pretty much that's left has a place. I just need to move it to that place now, but all the trash and everything's gone. Uh, the extra wood. We burned, you know, as we dug out the hole. Of course, it was the burn pit, so we found more stuff. So start getting rid of some of that um the kids helped me clean up all of the bottles and cans and well not all of them there's one but uh yeah when you're rolling through and pouring concrete and getting things done you just that stuff just gets thrown everywhere so need to clean up a little bit april 5th right now hmm. i don't know what day it is april 4th so yes april 4th right now and we've got to get this, uh, yeah, we've got to get the basement poured this month and stay on track. So that's the schedule we're on. That's what's next. That's what's coming. Appreciate everybody. I know this was a little long series. Uh, appreciate you watching, commenting. Can't thank Aaron and Marshall and Eric from all3pools.com enough. Could not have gotten this. I wouldn't even try this project had I not gone to their training and gotten their assistance that's been great and of course casey and his crew came out 
and a clutch took care of us. Chris, as you know, who all, is always helping out. Last but not least, Nadura and Concrete Supply for uh, everything that uh, they've done. So if you've got your own project, pool project, you like, hey, I want to do it, don't be scared. Hit them up, check it out. If you're looking to build a house, uh, they can help with some assistance on that as well and ideas and plans and just anything you need with that. And of course, uh, Drew Turner at Concrete Supply is my rep with Nadura that hooked me up. So appreciate everybody again. And of course, the support of my wife and family and I appreciate every day and keep going. So thanks for watching. See you in the next Town.